Heritage Hall at the Patrol Academy in Columbus provides an opportunity for visitors to take a walk back in time through the patrol's history. Photographs and items dating back to the 1930s are on display and will be rotated out several times a year to accommodate a new collection of items. This colorized historical photograph is from the Ohio Historical Society. From left to right are patrolmen Paul H. Atzel, O.W. Merrill, Colonel Lynn Black, and Lieutenant George Mingle. This 1936 photo shows a patrolman giving a driving examination. Captain James J. F. Duvall from the 27th Academy class donated this soft leather helmet and mitten gloves from 1949. He retired in May 1979 after 30 years of service. This board was used by a driver license examiner from 1942 until 1950. Driver license applicants used a grease pencil to write their answers on the glass and then turned it in. Once it was graded, the board was erased and given to the next applicant. This item is on temporary loan from Skip Bennett. On October 15, 1956, 60 state highway patrolmen were dispatched to Portsmouth, Ohio to prevent mob disorders during the Ohio Consolidated Telephone Company strike. Staff Lieutenant Don Anweiler was issued this baton at the time he reported for duty. Here are 1951 coupon books for gasoline or motor oil. This 1954 book is for identifying types of vehicles by photo identification. Here is a Handlin Kerosene Road Flare Smudge Pot. It was used to alert motorists to the presence of road hazards. Now we use 30-minute red emergency flares. In May 1954, a home in Madison County was rented from George Wickline, who constructed a new three-bedroom house on Lafayette Street in London, specifically to house the patrol. This residence served as the county patrol post until a new post was built in 1974 in West Jefferson. Colonel Anson B. Cook was the patrol superintendent from 1964 until October 1965 when he reached the mandatory retirement age of 55. The London Patrol Post, former Post 49, was dedicated in his name. This case also holds many training and traffic safety manuals, immigration information, and an annual report from July 1968 to June 1969. Patrolman Carrie A. Sayers watches for disruptors at an OSU graduation in 1970. In May 1972, Colonel Caramani was the guest speaker at a graduation for Parkway High School in Rockford, Ohio. Colonel Caramani donated these State Highway Patrol Putty and Goggle Club cards from 1973 and 1974. No other information is available. Fuel shortages required a significant change in how troopers patrolled the highways. Every field trooper was required to do 10 minutes of stationary patrol with the car's engine off each half hour. Ohio Police Magazine and Police Chief Magazine printed an article Colonel Caramani wrote called Let the Man on the Road Know Someone Cares. The officer on the road is our most important asset and he wants our officers to know that, quote unquote, we care. The Emergency Highway Energy Conservation Act prohibited speed limits higher than 55 miles per hour. The uniform speed limit was signed into law in 1974, requiring the limit as a condition of each state receiving federal funding for highway repair. The March 1975 employee newsletter featured the 1974 Patrolman of the Year and Blue Max Award winners. The Ohio State Highway Patrol Academy training calendar lists all courses offered to law enforcement agencies in the state of Ohio. This inner office memo, dated March 13, 1974, documents all uniform officers who were overweight. This three-ply carbon paper booklet was carried in each car with a patrol credit card to buy gas. It was phased out in 1980. This receipt book was used by Trooper Gil McCune. The start date for the first receipt was October 28, 1981, for a female deer that was killed during a traffic crash. This Selective Traffic Enforcement Program Activity Report from 1980 is no longer used. This July 1982 plaque reads, The Ohio Department of Liquor Control expresses appreciation to the Highway Patrol Academy for your cooperation and helpfulness with our department's training programs. In 1983, the Ohio State Highway Patrol received this honor award from the United States Secret Service. 
These are signature block stamps of Colonel Jack B. Walsh. This display case includes several forms that are now obsolete, training and safety manuals, 1986 duty assignment sheets, a newspaper article, and crash photos. Looking over photo albums at the Ohio State Highway Patrol Academy are, from left to right, Captain William D. Broucher, former patrol pilot, Colonel Robert M. Caramani, and Ernest P. Webb, the patrol's first aviator. The first traffic arrest via airplane for the Ohio State Highway Patrol came on July 4th weekend, 1952. The 1986 Certificate of Recognition was for completing 10 years and over 80,000 flight hours without a reportable aircraft accident from July 1976 until July 1986. Trooper Marla Gaskill obtained her pilot's license in November 1994. She transferred into the patrol's aviation section in December 1995 and became its first, and so far only, female pilot. She remained in aviation until December 1997. Also in this case are Ohio Aviation News from spring 1996 and an OSHP aircraft accident record form. In March 2003, white Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor cruisers were issued with license plates reading 1-800-GRAB-DUI. The patrol switched to white cars to provide greater visibility and promote overall officer safety. The gray cars were replaced over a two-year transition period. This Jackson DHQ post was opened in 1955 on old U.S. Route 35 at Chillicothe Pike. It was demolished in 2003, and the newly built facility held an open house on October 21, 2005. The United States Department of Transportation awarded the Ohio State Highway Patrol for their commitment to removing commercial vehicles and drivers engaged in criminal activity from our highways in 2004 and 2005. The 2006 Ross County Fugitive Task Force awarded the Ohio State Highway Patrol for their assistance and support during the 2006 Fugitive Task Force. Also in this display case are several Ohio Trooper magazines and a 2006 IACP award. These two photos show Reverend Richard D. Ellsworth with his brothers and their dog Ruby. When Colonel Caramani gave Reverend Ellsworth this OSHP 40th anniversary coin in 1973, he told him to quote-unquote treat it with respect. Reverend Ellsworth was appointed chaplain of the Ohio State Highway Patrol on May 24, 1991. This year, we are celebrating his 25 years with the patrol. This plaque, dated February 19, 1992, is from the board and staff of the Columbus Area Council on Alcoholism. The Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction recognized Reverend Ellsworth in June 2003. This 2008 award makes Reverend Ellsworth an honorary lifetime member of the Columbus Division of Police Honor Guard. This 2008 photo shows all of the patrol's volunteer chaplains. From left to right are Reverend Philip Hurlbert of Northern Ohio, Reverend Kelly McInerney, Southwest Ohio, and Robert Fulton, Southeast Ohio. During the 2014 Patrol Memorial, Ohio Department of Public Safety Director John Bourne officially dedicated a new eternal flame to Reverend Ellsworth and Linda Ellsworth. This retired Colonel Group photo was taken on June 11, 2015. From left to right are Colonel John Bourne, Colonel Kenneth Marshall, Colonel Tom Rice, Colonel Kenneth Markle, Colonel Paul Pride, Colonel Paul McClellan, Colonel Richard Collins, Colonel Warren Davies, and Reverend Ellsworth. Reverend Ellsworth was a recipient of the Colonel Robert M. Caramani Humanitarian Award for 2015. Additional items on display are the Mayor's Medal from the City of Columbus, a replica of Ellsworth Chapel at Central College Presbyterian Church, and a replica of a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Trooper Wendy G. Everett is the first and only female Ohio State Highway Patrol trooper killed in the line of duty. Trooper James R. Gross was the 33rd Ohio State Highway Patrol officer killed in the line of duty and only the third to die in a shooting. Trooper Robert Perez Jr. graduated from our 132nd Academy class on April 2, 1999. He was killed on May 15, 2000 by a drug-impaired driver. 
Trooper Frank G. Vasquez graduated from our 128th class on July 25, 1997. He was an Ohio State Highway Patrol trooper for over four years before he was killed on November 6, 2001 by a drunk driver. Trooper Andrew C. Baldridge graduated from our 149th Academy class on December 16, 2009. Just a few months later, he was killed in a one-vehicle crash on February 4, 2010. In the 1970s, two patrol pilots were killed in the line of duty as a result of airplane crashes. Sergeant Harold K. Hanning, August 6, 1970, in Wayne County. Sergeant Edward G. Moore, July 23, 1976, in Knox County. Also in the case are memorial programs from 1990, 2001, 2010, and 2011, Inaugural Dedication Ceremony, May 16, 1989, and the Springfield Post Memorial Ceremony, January 25, 2016. The Fighting 69th, a class of 33 cadets, was the first academy class to graduate from the patrol's new academy on February 18, 1966. The swearing-in of Patrolman Gilbert H. Jones and Patrolman Lee Peters, Jr. were the first blacks to graduate since November 4, 1955, when Patrolman Louis D. Sharp graduated with the 44th Academy class. In 1973, Patrolman Jones became the first African-American Highway Patrol Sergeant and Assistant Post Commander at West Jefferson. He went on to be the first African-American to reach each rank up to Assistant Superintendent as he earned promotions throughout his career. This photo of Lieutenant Colonel Jones and President Clinton was taken at the Clarion Hotel in Columbus on August 26, 1996. Lieutenant Colonel Jones retired on August 30, 1997, after 31 years of service. He served in the capacity of Assistant Superintendent for almost three years. This is part of an ongoing video series. As displays change, new videos will be added.